Hello everyone, welcome back to my reading corner. Guys, so today I'm going to be reading a book called A Fraction's Goal, Parts of a Whole. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this video and let's head on. But first of all, I have a focus question for you guys that we will be answering in the end of this video. So the, our focus question is, what are fractions? Okay, well we're going to be answering them in the end of the video. Fractions are a portion, a piece, or just a part of something that is larger, like this segment on this chart. Or look at this round pizza. It can be cut in two, or four, or six, or eight, or more. Whatever best suits you. But let's say that it's cut in two, and you pick up one slice. If you've got one piece out of two, it's one half to be precise. Next, cut the pizza into four and take one single piece. That's one fourth. Now, can you see how the size has been decreased? So now, if someone wants one half, two slices will be needed. Two fourths and one half are the same. There are different ways to read it. Fractions also work with groups like two-thirds of the players, seven-eighths of jugglers, and one-half of the mayors. Pretend you have three uncles and two came for a visit. That would mean two-thirds were there. That's not so hard now, is it? Let's say the third one showed up to join in all the fun. That's one whole group of uncles, because three-thirds equals one. Fractions come in handy if you ever help with baking. You'll see them in the recipes for breads and cakes you're making. Three-fourths tablespoon of salt and two-thirds cup of flour, five-eighths cups of chocolate chips, and bake for a half an hour. The numerator is the word for the number that's on top, like the three that's in we lost three tenths of the year's crop. The number underneath the slash is a denominator. Note that nearly all the time this bottom number is greater. Fraction can be used in pizzas, planes, and cranes, and plants. You'll know more than just a portion if you give them half a chance. So what is a fraction? Do you know? So you see on this chart, it shows like all of like most of it shows like examples of fractions like one half, one third, three thirds, one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, five eighths, seven eighths, three tenths, and one twelfth. Those are all the fractions we talked about in the book, guys. Okay guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video guys. So if you guys want more of this video, smash that like button and subscribe. But now let's answer our focus question. But before I do answer it, do you guys know the answer to the focus question guys? Well, let me tell you guys the answer. So the answer to the question is that fractions are basically part of a whole number. So the answer to what fractions are, are basically is that Fractions are part of a whole number. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want more videos, smash that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next book reading video. Bye, guys.